Hello guys, this is our trolls and in today's troll we showing you how to create glowing text and it also breaks apart um, and it's a really cool effect because it glows in the dark and when it breaks apart there's a lot of little tiny pieces um, that glow so let's get into Cinema 4D okay go to uh, under settings Output with 1280, uh, 80 by 720. Okay, so just so it's not annoying, those little borders on the sides. Okay, so now let's create a plane. Uh, okay, enlarge the plane as much as you can. As much as possible. Yes, there we go. Um, uh, create a text or graph or text uh, change yeah increase depth first uh, to 70 change the font uh, what I use what I'm gonna use now from now on is a chromatics uh, or uh, I'm sorry it's aromatics NC and I'll let you have a good look at it okay um, just center it okay and go to caps select fillet cap and fillet cap okay looks quite nice uh, drag this up a little bit alright um, I'm sorry, I have a phone call. Okay, sorry about that. Um, so where am I at? Uh, I think, yeah, we're about to create uh, the materials for our text. So double click on the material bar, then double click on your material, um, change the color. Uh, go to color texture and gradient and then click on the icon uh, go to type and change to the circular and the uh, black part change this to light yellow and no, not that even lighter um, and the white part change this to dark orange okay and then go to luminance and do the same thing texture gradient uh, to the circular light uh, yellow and oops dark orange okay and then it's up to you if you want to add the reflection it's gonna ruin it a little bit um, I suggest you not you do not add reflection but it's up to you okay so there probably will not be any inside color when it fractures it's all just gonna be like the same color so we'll not make another material okay so just drag this over to our text then um, let's break up our text into little pieces so select our mo text go to plugins throwsy and select throwsy then bump this up the pieces up to 512 which is the top okay and now click break now and I will probably stop that uh, recording because it's gonna take a really long time to break it's gonna take around five minutes so yeah just quick break now and it's gonna take a long time <clears throat> so I'll come back when it's done okay uh, so the pieces are done breaking up now oh, it's kinda lagging now um, let's restore it let's see 
it's still gonna be laggy. Uh, yeah, so now you wanna add um, dynamics to the plane. So select the plane, go simulation dynamics, uh, create collider. Um, okay, and then where the Tarazi text is, select all of the tags, just select them, and then go to trigger. Um, think it's yeah trigger no 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 immediately on collision I'm guessing yeah trigger on collision okay and now let's create an object that will collide with the text and will break text so let's create a sphere move it all the way up in the middle okay a little bit farther up okay and select the sphere create a new material and double click on it change the color to um, actually let's not even care about the car color uh, select the reflection and just brightness bump it up to a hundred so yeah and then drag it over the sphere okay and then select the sphere go to simulation dynamics uh create rigid body all right um yeah trigger immediately and let's see what happens let's play the clip it's gonna be a bit slow can be much slower than it, it would really be if you render it because it's laggy because so many pieces are broken up but it also depends a lot on your computer okay okay so as you can see the text is breaking we haven't added the glow effect yet so it's not gonna it doesn't look good yet so go to render settings go to effect ambient occlusion and then effect global illumination then select air then sketch and then to cast examples to low record density to low then go to options shadow depth uh, 6 and ray depth also 6 and then bloomness off <coughs> okay and now let's render this and see what it looks like so as you can see it's a really cool effect because you can't see the sphere you can only see the reflection of the sphere you can't see an actual physical sphere so I think that's very cool uh, it's like a little warp in the middle of the text and then if we render the, I mean if we play on it's just gonna destroy the whole text and I think it looks really cool okay and let's render this again just to see what it looks like <coughs> Okay, so now you actually realize that there's a sphere or some object and there's like a little reflection of everything that's going on. And I think it looks really cool. Um, and you see the gray part inside the text. We can remove this. You can change the color, the gray color to glow if you want to and to do that you have to select no you have to yeah you have to select all of the drowsy elements the text element and right click and go to group objects then 
drag the material over on to the null group and then right click on the material and then uh, go to copy tag to children and then go to every one of them copy tag to children and so on for every letter okay and then you have to delete all of this um, which is the grape uh, the gray materials you have to delete these and then uh, make this smaller yes shift click delete okay shift Ooh. okay so we kind of messed up yeah sorry about this I made a mistake I should have made two materials should have added two materials okay and the last one oh crap come on press the wrong one, press delete instead of shift okay hold shift and delete and there you go now you have all of the objects all of the pieces uh, glowing looking quite nice um, thank you for watching this tutorial uh, please thumbs up and subscribe and we'll see you next time.